رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنما Is there a minimum and a maximum hours that one has to fast on a day in Ramadan? I began fasting while traveling from a country A and within six or seven hours, I landed in country B where it was already Maghrib. What should I do? You, as an individual, are accountable in front of Allah for your own sunrise, that is break of dawn and sunset. Regardless of anyone else, regardless of your country or the country you're traveling to. So this means that I, as an individual, my prayer time depends on the position of the sun at the moment. If I'm traveling from Kuala Lumpur to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, I'm going westbound, which means that the sun would not move almost. I travel, take off at 12.30, noon. I reach at 2 o'clock, noon. I did not pray any prayer. When I reach Jeddah, I pray Dhuhr, for rak'ah. But if the opposite takes place, if I travel from Jeddah to Kuala Lumpur, I'm going east, which means that I am racing with the sun. So I, I, I take off at 4 o'clock a.m., Half an hour later, it's the break of dawn. I can see it from the airplane window. I pray Fajr on the plane. Though they did not pray it in Jeddah where I took off. After a few hours, I pray Dhuhr and Asr. And I reach Kuala Lumpur at 5 p.m. So my prayer is dependent on the position of the sun where I am. So by this, if I take off at 7 o'clock a.m. in Saudi Arabia, I'm fasting. Seven or six hours later, I see the sun set setting, though I'm flying. Still in Jeddah, they're still fasting. In this case, yes, I break my fast because I saw the sun sets not waiting for people of Saudi Arabia or people of this country or that country. It depends where I am and the sun is. Now, regarding the minimum or the maximum, there is no minimum or maximum. If I'm going eastbound, yes, I may fast for five, six hours. But if I, I'm traveling westbound, it may take me 20 hours to complete the day because I have to fast according to the position of the sun. Ramadan tajalla wa abtasama tuba lil'abd idha tanama Ramadan I began my 29th day of fasting in Ramadan and then traveled to a country that same day that was celebrating Eid. What happens to my fast in this case? You continue your fast because you began your fast in a country that Ramadan was still ongoing. So I'm in Saudi Arabia, I'm traveling to India. So today is the 29th, I'm fasting, I re which is a Wednesday. I reach India on Wednesday morning, but it is Eid in India. I continue my fasting because I began when it was Ramadan and it's still Ramadan to me. Once the sun sets, that's it. I celebrate my Eid. Of course, because I'm traveling, I can break my fast. But what counts is the time when I started. Let me reverse this. Today is Eid in Saudi Arabia. And I'm going to Morocco. And Morocco, they're still fasting and their Eid is tomorrow. So today I celebrated Eid with my family. In, at noontime, I traveled to Morocco, and they're still fasting. Should I consider this to be Ramadan for me? The answer is no. I completed fasting 29 days in my hometown. So what counts is the number of days you fasted. Meaning, Saturday, Ramadan starts in Saudi Arabia. 
I fasted until it was 27 days. And then I traveled to India, which was the last day of Ramadan. So I fasted with them a day. Now I completed 28 days and they celebrated Eid. I have to celebrate Eid with them because I'm in their country now. After the day of Eid is over, I have to make up for a day. Why? Because the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, the month is either this or this. So in Islam, the lunar month is either 29 or 30 days. It can't be less. So if I fasted my own personal days, 28 days, I have one day missing. If I fasted 29, 30, or 31 days, then my month is complete. I did not miss a single day of Ramadan, unless, wow, come on, you're confusing us. Bear with me. If I fasted in Saudi Arabia, 29 days, and today is the 30th of Ramadan, and I'm fasting, and I traveled from Saudi Arabia on the 30th, my 30th day, to Morocco, and they were celebrating eight. So I skipped this day, which is the 30th for me of Ramadan, because I'm traveling. I reached Morocco when it's eight. So I said, Alhamdulillah, I have no day to make up. No, you do. Why? Because the 30th day you were in Saudi Arabia, this is a day of Ramadan for you, and you skipped it because of traveling. So you have to make up this day. And if someone said that, our community fast 30 days every year of Ramadan. So is this permissible? The answer is no. They're sinful for that. The Prophet ﷺ prohibited fasting the day of doubt. And what is the day of doubt? The day of doubt is the 30th of Sha'ban. 29th finished, we have to observe the newborn moon. If we did not see it, by default, tomorrow is the 30th of Sha'ban. Some people say, I'm going to fast the 30th of Sha'ban. Why? Said so just to be safe. It can be the first of Ramadan. This is sinful. You cannot disobey the Prophet ﷺ by your own whims and desires. You cannot be more Roman than the Romans. Are you more careful than the Prophet ﷺ? You have to fast when you see the moon and you have to end your fast when you see the moon. To have it fixed 30 days every single year, this is totally unacceptable and an innovation. So I hope this, Yanni, did not confuse you. If it is, see it again, inshallah, and it should be uh, helpful. <laughs> A question that is often asked, what is the role of niyyah in fasting? And is it a must for me to have suhoor or the pre-dawn meal? First of all, as for the niyyah, there is a difference between fard fasting and voluntary fasting. In fard fasting, it is a pillar that you have the intention for fasting before the break of dawn. Because the Prophet says والسلام, in an authentic hadith, whoever does not intend to fast at night time, then there is no fast valid for him. And this is regarding the fard fasting, which means that if tomorrow is Ramadan and I do not intend to fast it at night. And the dawn breaks. And then I intend to fast. The fast is invalid. Now, what do you mean by intent to fast? Should I say, no way to an asum tomorrow? I intend to fast. Should I verbally say it? No. Intention is in the heart. When I want to go and answer the call of nature, do I, before moving, say, mm, I intend to go to the toilet 
to have 101 or 201? No. I don't have to say this. If there's an apple in front of me, should I say to myself, I intend to reach out to the apple and eat it? Of course not. This is insane. Then what is meant by the word intention? The word intention is something in your heart. You intend to do it, you do it. That's it. When it's fasting, your pre-dawn meal is an intention. Wanting to fast tomorrow before you go to bed, or at least before the adhan breaks, maybe you go to bed not intending, but seconds before the break of dawn, the adhan of fajr, you intend to fast, this is valid. Do I have to do this every single night of Ramadan? No. Ramadan is connected, continuous. So what your intention the first day of Ramadan suffices the whole of the month. You don't have to intend it every single night, unless you break. What do you mean? I fasted for a whole week, intending it on the first night. On the eighth day, I traveled, so I broke my fast for a couple of nights. Then I went back. I have to initiate a new intention for tomorrow. If I did not, then the fast is invalid because of the lack of intention. A woman has her menses for seven days. She saw her purity, she took, she took ghusl. She must intend from night that tomorrow she's fasting. Otherwise, this is invalid and so on. Now, is the pre-dawn meal a must? The answer is no. Meaning that if I woke while intending to fast tomorrow, I woke seconds before the adhan. And as I was getting out of bed, the adhan was called. So should I continue to fast? Or this doesn't count? Of course, you have to fast. But I didn't eat, no problem. I didn't drink, it has not, no impact. The fast is valid. It is highly recommended that you have a pre-dawn meal, as it's the sunnah. And even if you don't want to eat, at least you have to drink a glass of water. Again, this is the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ. But if, he, if for one reason or the other, you fail to do this, your fast is intact.